Hello and welcome to Peer Buddy. Mr. D here. Today we're going to learn about micronutrients. Now, micro means small, so you may think small things don't make such a difference, but it only takes a small spark to start a fire. In aviation, there's a rule called the 60 to 1 rule. This means if you were leaving the United States of America, aiming for England, and you were off by just one degree, you might end up in Australia. So small things equal big differences. So let's dive in and see how this is the case for micronutrients. So, let's learn about micronutrients. In this video, you'll learn to explain the difference between vitamins and minerals. You'll learn to describe the function and food sources of each of the main micronutrients. And finally, you'll learn to identify the most important micronutrients for health and for performance. Let's do it. So what will you need? Just a pen and paper. So first, let's define our terms. What are micronutrients? As I said before, micro means small. The opposite of this would be macro. I did another video on macronutrients, you might like to check that out for some context. Micronutrients are essential elements needed by life or the human body in small quantities. So there are two types of micronutrients, vitamins and minerals. Let's dive deeper into both of these. So first of all, vitamins are organic substances. They come from plants and animals. They are not stored in our body. And there are two types, water soluble, fat soluble. So the water soluble vitamins are vitamin B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9, B12 and vitamin C. As you can see they have two names. They're mostly referred to with the left hand name here, occasionally with the right hand. The other type of vitamin are fat soluble vitamins. These are vitamin A, D, E and K. Minerals. These are inorganic substances, as opposed to vitamins which are organic. These can be stored in the body, and they come from water and from the soil. So here are the main minerals required by the human body. Calcium, iodine, iron, zinc, magnesium, and fluoride. So we've gone through many vitamins and minerals, or micronutrients, but which ones are the most important for us? Vitamin D. This helps bone strength and reduces the likelihood of getting sick. It comes from eggs, fish, milk, and from the sun. Make sure you get plenty of sunshine every day. Next, we have magnesium. This assists our nervous system, muscles, and it helps us sleep. Sources include nuts, brown rice, and beans. Next up, we have calcium. Calcium assists bone and teeth health. Sources include milk, dairy products, nuts, beans, and fortified cereals. Zinc. Zinc assists the immune system, it heals wounds and helps the body use the macronutrients. Sources include beef, other meats, brown rice, spinach and some fish. Next we have iron. Iron assists energy production, brain function and healthy blood cells. Sources include red meat, spinach, shellfish and legumes. Next we have folate. Folate assists fetal development. It's really important during pregnancy. It also helps fight depression and inflammation. Sources include avocado, beans, citrus fruits, and dark leafy greens, such as spinach and broccoli. And finally, we have vitamin B12. This assists energy, nerve health, and DNA production. It's very, very important. Sources include meat, fish, and eggs. And vitamin tablets are recommended because this can be hard to get from natural food sources, especially if you're a vegetarian or vegan. So this is a common question that comes up. Should I get my micronutrients, my vitamins and minerals, from food sources or tablets? Here's some general guidelines to help answer that question. You should aim to get your vitamins and minerals from food sources if possible, but sometimes it's necessary to supplement your diet with supplement tablets. For example, if you are vegetarian, vegan, female or an athlete. These are the recommendations I have for supplements. Vitamin D, if you live in a country or a place that doesn't get much sun. Vitamin B12, as we mentioned before, can be hard to get from natural food sources. And iron and folate for females. Well done, you made it. Now it's quiz time to check your understanding. So question one, you'll need your pen and paper for this. What are the two types of micronutrients? 
Answer, vitamins and minerals. Question two, what are the two types of vitamins? Water soluble and fat soluble vitamins. Question three, which of the following micronutrients are important for general health? So write down all of these vitamins and minerals here and then highlight, underline or circle the ones that are important for general health. Here are the answers. Vitamin D, calcium, iron, zinc, and folate. Again, these are the most important for general health. The others are still important, but not as much as these. And question four, which of the following micronutrients are important for performance? Again, write down this list, circle, underline, or highlight which vitamins or minerals are important for performance. Good luck. Here are the answers. Bottom B12, zinc, iron, and magnesium. Again, these relate to muscles and energy production. Well done, you made it. So this is what you've learned in this video. How to explain the difference between vitamins and minerals, how to describe the function and food source of each of the main micronutrients, and how to identify the most important micronutrients for both health and physical performance. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please make sure you like, Comment with any feedback, questions or concerns you have and subscribe if you would like to see more videos. If you'd like to learn about another topic, comment below and I'll create a video just for you. Thanks everybody. Bye.